Good afternoon, Matt from Class A Sport Fishing. It's Sunday the 14th. Uh, did not get out yesterday because of the big blow, but we got out today. Lake was beautiful. Uh, went down a little bit west of port, set up, and uh, did very, very well. I think we had north of, we probably had north of 40 bites today. It, it was ridiculous. Uh, some of them were browns. Some of them were kings. We got cracked off by three definitely three kings uh saw all three of them jump out of the water with my lures in their mouth uh just that time of the year man they're you gotta use light line and you know 15 pound leaders they, they they're still cracking them off uh i used a mixture of plugs and spoons today uh here are the plugs that did well um this is the au the uh smithwick uh, take a gander at the back. Those hooks are kind of not very great, but we did get the fish off of that one. Um, Fire Tiger, always a good one when we're in and out of some dirty water. Citric Shad, always a good one. Did fish on this one right here that's silver out in that gin, that gin clear water. Uh, we also had some bay rats out. I had this, the long S, S2, and uh, I love the Wonder Bread. I don't know why it works down here so well, but it does. And also this guy right here, the Fire Tiger. I like that Fire Tiger that they have. Uh, spoons. This is a Warrior Jordo. I had that off a of sinker rig, and that worked pretty good. Uh, I didn't have... I ended up taking that lure off a of sinker rig and put it on a rigger because the sinker rigs are just getting in the way today. We had so many diver bites, it was unbelievable. And I'll get to that in a second. Uh, this, I think that's a green eyeball or something like that. It, it's a, a dream weaver. I don't know the names on most of these spoons, but that's why I'm showing them to you. Um, stingers that worked. This is a gold perch, and I just put a little pink on it. Thanks, Jerry Snyder. Uh, this worked pretty good today. And for my divers, these went at least, at least 10 times a piece. I mean, they're, I didn't get hooked up on them, but, you know, a lot of, a lot of drive-bys. This is that frog from Stinger with a white cup. It's got UV on the front and glow. <clears throat> and then my man, Soda's Point Buckeye Gold. Um, I did get cracked off on a plug. I can't say what it is. It wasn't my idea of running it. A buddy of mine turned me on to it a couple years ago. It uh, it looks like a, a shiner. Um... Let's put it that way. It's a natural colored bait. It's got an orange belly on it. Um, and I am down to my last one, so I'm going to buy six today when I get home. Go figure. Probably never catch another fish on them. Um, fantastic day. Ended up with, uh, boating five kings. Uh, all good ones. And then, uh, like I said, we cracked off three. I saw three of them. They were all good ones. Um it was just a, a day that you'll remember for a long time. And, and when you're out there on the days that it's slow, you're always going to think back of that day in April where you guys, where we smashed them. Um, I don't believe I'm going to get out. I might get out with friends this week. I don't have a trip until the weekend. So it's supposed to be nice weather Monday and Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, and then it's going to blow. So... Hopefully these fish stick around. Uh, have a great week, and I will put another report the next time I go out. Thanks. Have a good one.